Welcome into this week's edition of Maverick Insider. I'm Rob Clark, joined alongside Minnesota State men's hockey head coach, Luke Strand. Coach, huge series coming up this weekend against St. Thomas. Both the Mavericks and Tommies are tied for first place in the CCHA. How much fun are these two games really going to be? Yeah, it's that time of year. I think you, you know, you're striving to make the play your best hockey at the right time and common opponent. Um, we've already split once, so uh, it's exciting time for our guys, and it's, it's a good time of year to be playing good hockey. When you look at what this team was able to do last weekend against Northern Michigan, you pick up a, a tie and then a win there in the series finale. How confident are you in just the way that the group is playing right now? It, it's It's been good in the idea. I think we've had to play some depth. We've had to show that different guys in the lineup can do different jobs at different moments. Uh, we've had tandem goaltending. We've had a little bit of everything for us, uh, which I think fares well down the stretch here when we're getting good play out of a volume of players. I was looking at it, and for the season, the Mavericks' goal differential is plus 19. What do you really attribute that to as far as the, the play of some of these forwards and really being able to, um, you know, put, put it to other teams? Both sides. I, you know, I, I think we, we get sustainable offense out of our D. I think they add a lot to our group. Um, our forwards, we can, we can put the puck in the net, and it's, it's not by necessarily one guy, although Morty definitely has led the way. And, and then on the other side is you, we've got a team right now that's at the highest belief point that your best you know, defense is, is possession and offense and keeping the puck away from the other team. And uh, we've sustained that and built on that part. And th that's a pretty big component if you want to stretch out that goal differential. You mentioned Sam Morton. He is a Hobie Baker Award nominee. How cool is it to see him kind of get that recognition, even though I know we haven't seen it as far as in conference with any uh, Player of the Week honors, which is kind of crazy, but he's just kind of been steady st Sam throughout the entire season here. I think Player of the Week, uh, he does it so often and maybe too consistent that it doesn't show up that way. Um, it's exciting. He, he's well earning of the, of the recognition and the nomination. Uh, we do need the votes to count. That that part is a nomination process right now as far as Kobe Baker, as far as voting goes. But he's deserving. He, his goals are timely. He's an incredible leader. Um, a, a kid here that we are excited to, to be a Maverick, and it'll be unreal as an alum. Last question for you, Coach. When it comes to a home-and-home -home series, what is the difference when you look at going somewhere and then coming back in a matter of a couple of days. Yeah, it's going to be, it's a quick trip. Obviously uh, the, the venues are different. Um, we, we love our home rink here. We love to play in front of our community and fans. Um, but I would tell you Maverick fans are all over Minnesota, including Minneapolis. So I do expect we'll have our shade of purple in there just as much. Uh, but, but there's a trick. I mean, you've got to get up for, for a game on the road and then be able to come home. I'm excited about. I think uh, the first time around we played at home first, and they're they they're play second. Uh, it'll be excited to come home on Saturday as well. Perfect. Thanks so much for joining me. We'll be back with more Maverick Insider after the break.